I would like to say welcome everybody to my uh, wood turning workshop here. Um, today I'm going to be turning um, a platter. Um, some of you may have already seen my uh, platter demonstration before uh, making what I call the traditional Irish platter and I'm going to do a different one uh, today. But before um, I show you what I'm going to make, um, I'd like to just give you a quick tour around my camera angles. Uh, so you have the main one as you can see there and then we have this uh, overhead one when you need to get in close and when I'm marking up the piece um, just to start with and making the initial cuts. Um, over here I've got my bench grinder when I have to sharpen up my tools and then I have this camera that I can move about. So I will start off uh, with this one here now. So yeah, I'm in, I'm in view. Um, the platter that I'm going to make today is this one here, sorry something similar to that. It's got a little half B just inside the, the rim. Um, when I make a salad bowl, generally, I will make the base of my salad bowl about one third of the overall width. When I make a platter that I'm gonna use, I make the base about two thirds of the overall width. Um, and really anywhere that I put or can put pressure with a, a knife or a fork, if I'm using it for to have my dinner on or lunch, anywhere I can put pressure needs the support of the base below that. Um, I have a platter here and this is one of my favorite pieces. Now if I bring that up really close for a second, it'll take a second to focus. You can see that it's not in great condition but that is several hundred years old. This is a 5 8 inch gouge. The wing on that tool from the, from the back of the wing to the tip is the same as the diameter. So 16 millimeters or 5 8 inch is the length of the wing. It's sharpened to 55 degrees and I've taken the heel off it. So I've ground that heel away. The handle is way down towards the ground. I keep my thumb up there about on the ferrule or close to it and the left hand pushing on the tool rest. Cutting most of the time now next is just on the curve, just to the left of the tip where I've got my finger. So this is a new design by Vicmark and this really helps me when I'm making these types of platters. happy with this piece and thank you very much everybody for joining in. I know that this uh, piece here has a, a good home now in the USA and I'm going to pack it up and uh, send it out pretty much uh, in, uh, straight away in the next couple of days. Um, so please join me for my next demonstration uh, which is turning a thin wall bowl and uh, remember that we do uh, record all of these demonstrations. We will be editing them and um, they will be available on our website. So thank you for joining in.